And action! Welcome to another episode of Let's Cook with Warren, and today we'll cook with Warren. So today we're sponsored by Inland Seafood, and uh, Inland Seafood is starting to do deliveries, home deliveries, in the Southern Pines, Pinehurst area. Uh, take a look at orderinland.com, and we'll try and put this in the notes of the YouTube video. Uh, so that you can see what's Huge happening. technological leap. Yeah, we'll try, no guarantees. So, today we're going to cook uh, some grouper. So, uh, this is actually here. So, this is really cool. So, this is Scampi grouper, and it's from Captain Jeff on the Selena Grace fishing vessel. And I think Selena Grace is an awesome name. Um, so, these guys spear fish, and they're 150 feet down off the North Carolina coast. That's really deep. There's three man crew, and I don't know if anybody's a diver, but then you've got um, decompression and monitoring the air and all that kind of stuff with potential for bends um, at that kind of depth, and you're very limited to how long you can stay down on the feet. So these guys um, caught this uh, yesterday morning. So these guys sent us the very best fish we have. Fish was caught Wednesday morning. We usually see scampies and gag groupers, amberjack, hobbit snappers, mangrove snappers, scorpion fish, cobia. Cobias are really cool. Cobias are in their own genetic species. Uh, red snappers and trigger fish. So those are all sort of available from um, Jeff on the Selena Graves. Again, big shout out to um, Inland Seafood for sponsoring this out of Atlanta, they're out of uh, Charlotte. They're kind of all over the world, I guess, at this point. Uh, orderinland.com is the thing. Uh, all right, so let's go a piece of fish. So here's a piece of fish. And we're gonna season both sides because we eat on both sides, right? <laughs> so, so I'm covering both sides. And again, I've got our trusty saute pan since it seems that we only have one. At least once the handles get a little loose, loose on it. Extra yeah. exciting when you're cooking with yeah, it. Yeah, it makes it a little more dangerous, I guess. So there's that. Um, it's nice and thin like me, so it'll um, heat up pretty quickly. See how I worked that in there? Uh -huh. All right. Again, big shout out to Inland while we stall for time while this heats up. Orderinland.com uh, to order the very best uh, seafood and meats delivered. To We've their used home. Inland for years. They yeah, provide awesome fish. So, um, I've never had a problem. We get a lot of meat from them, we get a lot of fish from them. Okay, sometimes I have a problem. But I would hate to sell me fish because I'm kind of a PITA on the whole fish thing. Uh, they sell cheeses, they've got um, stuff as well. So, you have to look online. I'm yeah, sure it'll look explain. On the interwebs. <laughs> at um, waterinland.com. So now our pan's probably hot, and we'll use a little bit of our Arbequino olive oil, which is an olive oil out of Spain. Just a little bit is all you need. Again, because as we've talked about before, is that we're just gently coating the bottom of the pan. Um, I'm fishing want it to be smoking hot. All right, like hang it. on a second. While we're okay. talking, hey, Claudia, wave. You're going to be insta famous. This is Claudia Miller. She is Morgan Miller across the street. Fabulous neighbor. Just want to say hi. Hi. I imagine our 100,000 subscribers will soon be banging at your door. <laughs> Thanks, Claudia. So, Claudia's pretty cool. She's got a great sense of taste. So, if you go into a clothing shop, it's all really kind of nice stuff. So, our parents are right. There's nothing for me there. Well, there is, but you're just not choosing to go that direction. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> All right, so our pan's nice and hot. And we're going to put it with the uh, nice side down first. Presentation side down. Nice side down? Yeah, the nice side down first. And we're going to put it in. Remember how we did the little thing to make sure that fish isn't sticking? Oops. There we go. So this is a Peltec whip. Those are called a fish spatula. They're really cool. You can use them to spatula your fish. So, they're kind of fun to have around. Spatulate? Yeah, spatulate. So, we're going to see our fish off nice. While that's doing that, once we're over here, we'll um, How are we at fish? Um, orderinland.com again, if they're gracious enough to sponsor us. So, while that's doing its thing, we're going to dice another shallot because I like shallots. So, could you use leeks in this dish? Good. You can use anything you like. So, Nothing in cooking is written in stone. That was an easy question. Thank you for asking me. So nothing in cooking is, is written in stone. What you'll do is, if you have shallots, you use shallots. If you have leeks, you can use leeks. 
if you have onions, you can use onions. If you have cantaloupes, you can not use cantaloupes. That would be gross. Um, yeah, it'd be gross. But, you know, you gotta take a look and see what you've got available, and that's kind of how you go from there. So, our fish is in the steering when flip it over. Nice uh, GBD, golden brown delicious. So, we put there. Let's take the uh, seed out of here, because nobody wants to eat a lemon seed. So, a little bit of butter that I have ready with a spoon in it this time. Butter goes in, our shallots go in, our lemon goes in, and the fresh thyme goes in. We like to have a little aromaticness to our fish. See, our fish back to warm. aromatherapy with Warren. Yeah, aromaticness. So, a little bit of white wine goes into the pan. You only want to cook with a white wine that you're willing to drink. But that's another episode. That and reminds me of the water bottle the incident. <laughs> boom, here's our fish. It's all nice and done. How cool is that, right? Exactly. It's like television. Yeah. So we've got all this delicious liquid stuff under here. And uh, we could put some tomatoes in there. We can put some uh, olives in there, some capers, some vegetables, whatever you want. But I'm going to put a big old knob of butter into it because I do a lot of butter. That time someplace where we're going to be right in the sink. So our uh, time we can pitch. Kind of dead by now. So what the butter does, it helps to emulsify or thicken the sauce. So why did you take the time out instead of presenting it in the sauce? Because it's like a dead piece of time. You know, if you're going to present it, do you like a new nice piece? That's going to all kind of heat up and it's kind of ugly. So carefully. And with high flame right next to you. Yeah, that's why I don't have any hair on my uh, hands. Our fish comes out here. And that's a little lemon that we uh, got all our lemoniness out of. We'll have to reduce it a little more. And while we're reducing, again, we'll send a big shout out to Inland Seafood. Especially Frank, who's Especially your sales guy. Frank, who's our sales guy. And, then, and Chuck. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah Chuck. Chuck. Um, so orderinland.com is, um, and then ask for some of the fish that um, Jeff and the Selena Grace shot. It's gonna be a rough job. So this is a nice thick sauce, goes over our fish. Boom, there we have it. This is the gag uh, grouper uh, that we've got from Inland Seafood. And something like this, we might mount a pair it with maybe a nice risotto or mashed potatoes. Scamp grouper. Your, yeah, scamp grouper. You're living through your imagination. Way to make me look good on uh, TV. That's All my right. job. Again, remember, mm -hmm. we're getting close to 100,000 followers. We hit 100,000 followers. Huge, big getaway. Get, getaway? No. Giveaway. giveaway. Yeah, giveaway. That's it. Um, it's so big that it takes the internet to hold it all. That's it for now. Um, and thank you. And thank you. We need a better exit than that.